I'm hoping that this is the case. Um, unfortunately, uh, we have been used to the fact that the United States uh, does not really offer uh, uh, sufficient support uh, to human rights when it comes to Israel. Um, the United States uh, administration in general, but this one specifically or the previous one, uh, they have always uh, supported Israel uh, unconditionally. Uh, um, and this unfortunately uh, has uh, led to Israel feeling uh, and uh, practicing impunity. Uh, they have not been punished for um, uh, human rights violations that they have been doing, whether uh, in Gaza Strip, whether in Jerusalem, uh, in the West Bank, inside the, the areas where they uh, claim their own sovereignty as well. Uh, and um, this, unfortunately, uh, is the case. However, uh, I can see that uh, beyond the United States, uh, the world has been more and more paying attention to, to um, Israel's actions. I am hopeful that the International Criminal Court uh, will uh, investigate and examine uh, the actions that have been uh, conducted by the Israeli army, intelligence forces. Uh, um, many of the uh, acts amount to war crimes, crimes against crime, crime, humanity, persecution, etc. Uh, these acts need to be uh, uh, properly investigated um, by uh, the competent international uh, uh, court tribunal. Um, however, uh, we haven't seen that until today, um, but I'm hopeful that this will uh, take place. As you might also know, I work as a human rights uh, as the director of Human Rights Center uh, in, in Jerusalem, and now we see uh, that Israel is arresting Palestinians in Jerusalem on a daily basis, using force uh, to uh, end any uh, peaceful process that might uh, happen against the uh, uh, possible displacement of Palestinians uh, in Jerusalem, whether in Sheikh Jarrah or in Silwan or in other areas. Today, we uh, also learned that Israel has uh, started to revoke the medical insurance uh, of Palestinians who have been arrested uh, in the recent event uh, uh, just as a way uh, to um, probably uh, deter them and scare them and make them feel that if they protest uh, that their and their families must, because not only their medical insurance, but also their families' medical insurance, that their and their families' lives and welfare uh, uh, will not be, you know, will be actually a target. Uh, and this is uh, dangerous, um, um, but unfortunately it's continuing to happen because of the lack uh, of the accountability and the continuation of the unit. I, I believe that uh, and hope that uh, the ceasefire will be sustained as a result of uh, uh, this visit as well as other diplomatic efforts uh, conducted by uh, the United States, conducted by Egypt, conducted by uh, all other uh, contributors uh, to the ceasefire. The ceasefire is important. Uh, we have been uh, uh, losing precious lives, uh, and this should immediately stop. However, uh, what is more important uh, than the ceasefire is uh, to make sure that the reason that led to this escalation, and that led to escalations in the past uh, that have been ongoing for several years, uh, would stop. And the reason for this is that there is an apartheid regime that continues to uh, uh, persecute uh, the uh, Palestinian community uh, on different levels. Uh, Gaza Strip is under uh, a continuous uh, connected punishment uh, known uh, universally as siege. The connected punishment, people who live in this small area of land are unable to, uh, uh, to travel, are unable to trade with the rest of the world, uh, live in great poverty as a result of this uh, action that uh, Israel has been uh, doing. Uh, people in the West Bank are always suffering from the continuing settlement and continuing eviction and continuing displacement of their uh, 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 civilian population. And uh, all of these actions are leading to continuous tension. Al-Aqsa Mosque, uh, which is uh, uh, a holy place for uh, Muslims, not only in Palestine, but in, in the whole world, uh, Israel keeps... Uh, uh, shooting at people uh, praying in Al-Aqsa Mosque without any justification, using its police and army and using heavy uh, or uh, using weapons uh, against uh, um, uh, people who are praying during Ramadan. And this, uh, this is unjustifiable. So 
yes, it's important to, uh, uh, to, to the ceasefire is important, but what's more important is, is to uh, tackle the uh, root causes uh, of this, which is the continuation of an Israeli apartheid regime that persists for the Palestinians.